Tensions arising across Italy as the country prepares to vote in next weekend's general election. Police have been deployed in cities throughout the country to handle rallies which either defend or condemn centre-right parties. Security forces expect further protests during the elections and afterwards as the vote isn't expected to produce a clear winner. RT's Hanisha Sethi assesses the key political figures. Italy's general election, a show like no other. Starring a convict, a Trump wannabe and a poster boy. Confused? Well, let me break it down for you. Our first contender is the grand old age of 81 and has a scandalous past of fraud convictions and sex scandals. Oh, and he's also been the former Prime Minister of Italy multiple times. It's Silvio Berlusconi. I am still young, so I'm ready to work. Well, at least he's young at heart and he has plenty of supporters. I will vote for Berlusconi and the rest I don't care about. He gets things done. Due to his conviction, he can't become the Prime Minister himself. But if his Go Italy party does well, he could be the man to pick the head of the cabinet. Go Italy leads a coalition which spans the range of Italian centre-right politics. It's thought they could gain 38% of the vote. Part of this coalition includes our next contender, Matteo Salvini, and his Lega party, formerly known as Lega Nord. Italians first. The Italians first. Wait a second, doesn't that battle cry sound familiar? America first. And I'm sure there's more. What I admire in Trump is the fact that he is keeping most of the promises he made during the electoral campaign. Now, just like Trump, Salvini tweets about anything and everything. Moving on to our third contender now, the young face of the anti-establishment party. At only 31 years old, their leader of the Five Star Movement is seen by some as a bit of eye candy, and he makes sweet promises too. We are the only political force that in recent years has made promises to the Italians and has kept faith with those promises. We are the only ones to renounce the privileges of politics while all other politicians continue to obtain these privileges. I gave up my annuity and cut my salary. He's the complete opposite of the party's founder and stand-up comedian Beppe Grillo. He's cool, calm and collected and it seems to have captivated young voters. I will go with Di Maio. De Maio will be the turning point. I hope that the Five Star Movement comes to power because it understands us young people better. They are more aware about technology. They think about the future of us young people. But there's still a huge group of those unsure which way to vote on March the 4th. Polls suggest almost a third of eligible voters are either undecided or will abstain. Honestly, I don't trust anyone anymore. For me, they're all the same. Whichever political party it is, they come here, they make their promises. I say this, I will do that, but in the end, it was nothing. They might have their reasons. Italy has seen 60 governments and even more prime ministers since the Second World War. That's roughly a new cabinet every 14 months. So we'll see if any of these guys can sway the voters and stay long enough to actually keep any of their promises. Well, polls also show the centre-left parties, including the current ruling one, are likely to struggle at the election. However, Italy's junior minister for European affairs, Sandro Gozzi, believes the large amount of undecided voters means the outcome's not set in stone. There are four million of Italians, four million of Italians, who say that uh, they will go to vote, they will go to the polls, but they are still, uh, they are still to make up their mind. And this is why the opinion polls so far are not very reliable, because uh, uh, it will depend on the movement, on the electoral behavior of these four million people. And also, there are people who have abstained in the last general elections who are saying they will abstain, and this is the duty, I think, of all the political forces in this week to persuade the highest number possible of voters to go to the polls because these general elections in Italy will be very important for Italy itself, for our positioning in the European Union, and I think that they are also very important for the possibility to relaunch the European Union itself.